Scotch for Dummies here. Uh, we are in Scotland and happen to be blessed to be at the Tomatin Distillery today. It's not raining. Um, it's not raining. It has been raining, it has been raining on us for two weeks. weeks. Every time we get off the bus, it rains. Uh, we just took a tour of the place and I'm blown away. I, this is my first distillery visit. I have a little kid here. And, and we're <laughs> to a kid in the candy store, to be honest. Well, we have Ken with us. Yeah. Tomatin. And Ken, uh, how, how long have you been here? I, I've, actually, I've only been here for two years. Just coming up to two years uh, after a long career in broadcasting, and uh, I thought I wanted to work somewhere where I would see the people that I was talking to and meet people like yourselves and show them around. And just it's great to meet so many people that are so enthusiastic about oh, whiskey. Ah, oh, uh, Also, working here, it's great that I get a key <laughs> and Always a little good. bottle of uh, sample new make spirit. This is what will go into the cask. Oh yeah. And then uh, the cask goes into a little. like this. Did you have a wee I taste? I was really it? impressed with the new make. It I mean, good. you can really taste the barley. You can really. Yeah. Flavor. Uh, it wasn't what I expected. I expected it to be really off putting. It wasn't necessarily nice at every distillery. It's obviously delicious here. It's not. <laughs> but, uh, of course. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Uh, some of the new make spirit might have kind of sulfurous elements into it that, sure. uh, that get removed when it's in the barrel for a long while, but we pride ourselves in our new mix for it being the softer side of the Highland, so it's nice and soft and fruity and, and actually quite a pleasant drink in its own right. It, I'm very impressed, I have to say that. I want everyone to know that I, we tried it and I, I honestly, I smelt it on my hand and I'm like, man, that's really good. Yeah. Um, it's like walking through a farmyard with rubber in your hands and really, yeah, really strong so. Yeah. So this is the, so check out the duty free warehouse, warehouse here, guys. Please. The Dunnage Warehouse. So this is one of the oldest designs of warehouse, and it's one of the oldest ones that we have here at Tomatin. And Dunnage Warehouses are built with very, very thick walls, and they're very cold and dark. And that's uh, because, as you'll know, that if you leave whiskey in a barrel for a long while, you lose a lot of it to the right. angels' share. Right. And uh, you keep it cold and dark, you reduce the angels' share, and you don't let them get their hands on it. The other guy that's always trying to get his hands on the whiskey in the past was this, this guy chap here. He's the a tax man. The tax man. The, tax man. the evil tax man. He's an excise man, and it's his job to make sure that none of the spirit went astray and right. that all the taxes and duties were paid on it. So he would be sitting there watching. So the what's the? Uh, so you guys, right now, you're distilling at uh, ten, twelve. What, what, what are your? Our what are your core marks? range. We have uh, Legacy, which is the youngest whiskey that we produce. It's what's called a no age statement. Uh, it's generally between four and eight years old, but we don't sure. publish the actual age of it. We have um, virgin oak matured whiskey in there, which might be only about four years old, and uh, whiskey that's been matured in bourbon casks. It might be a little bit older than that, but the virgin oak puts a lot of flavour into the whiskey quite early on. Uh, then we have our 12 year old, which is our flagship whiskey. Uh, 12 years maturing in uh, bourbon and sherry casks. Right. Then we have a 14 year old that's been in bourbon and finished in port, so it's like in a ruby red colour. Uh, 18 year old is a sort of older version of the 12. And uh, then we have our Kubokin, which is uh, quite a new one uh, in yeah, the scheme of the distillery. It's a, a, a peaty whiskey. Oh, right. it's I'm a mildly there. peaty whiskey. You might be, expect like island malt, where you get a bottle of an island malt. I won't name any names, but you take the cork <laughs> off it and whoa, yeah, smoky, right. it's smoky. Right. It's like a barbecue. So slightly peaty. Our peated whiskey is about a quarter of the level of okay. peat that they might use. Nice so bridging gap for someone to get into. It is. It gets you into peated whiskey, but it also shows you that the peating and the smoke is an extra flavour that you can add on top. Right. So our Kubokin, uh, which means ghost dog, uh, named after the legend that there's the ghost of a snarling wolf haunting the cool. around here, bothering distillery workers on their way home instantly from the pub at night. Uh, but um, it's matured in bourbon, virgin oak, and sherry casks. So there's lots of subtle, complicated flavours coming from that. I'm just try it. A whole lot of, <laughs> well, we'll get you a glass of it soon as we are back. We've got to hurry up. Yeah, yeah. we'll send out for a glass. I just, but if you mask that with smoke, there's no point in putting it into all these right. different casks. So we've just a little bit of peat, so that's an extra flavour. Now we're going to ask, what's the oldest barrel you've got? Yeah, on you got the oldest barrel. Well, in general, so if, you, if you were wanting to buy uh, a bottle of tomato and whiskey, a very old bottle of tomato and whiskey, then we had uh, batch one of the tomato and 71 year old was on sale just before Christmas, 252 bottles of it, two and a half thousand pounds a bottle. Oh, um, we do have a barrel down there that I'm not really supposed to show you. Okay. So don't we tell anyone else. I don't know what you're talking about. But it does, it does date back to 1967. So we do have some whiskey that's even older than this. But, uh, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes open when my, my birth year goes up. Is this yours here, 1973? <laughs> when are we gonna put uh, some bottles out of that? No, no, I mean, that's, so it's not here. Yeah, yeah, well, you see, um, this is this represents all the years that we have stock elsewhere in the building, and uh, as, as as a tour guide taking people around, I see. Uh, I someone you. says, "Oh, my barrel's not there," and I say, "Well, it's because all the good years are gone." Ah, oh, the uh, good years. Years. You, you understood that. But one one lady, one lady just looked at me and said, "Yeah, they are, aren't they?" <laughs> <laughs> not quite what I meant by it, but yes, the good years are, are, are sold. My my year is sold. 
I'd actually found my years, 1963, at Balvenie Distillery in Dufton. Uh, not wanting to give them too much of a plug, but a bottle of it was £26,000. Ouch! So, all right, finding well, your year well, is not always a good thing, because you, you don't necessarily be able to afford it. That's mm, true. Yeah. Very true. Well, unfortunately, our, our, our clock is, 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 uh, is pressing uh, us to get going. Coach so, it does. Yes. So. Appreciate so much. Thank Can't you so much. Right. Thank you for talking to us, sharing you. some knowledge, and, and this wonderful story. Awesome this, place. This, uh, I don't want to leave. <laughs> I want to stay for We're a getting while. dragged out here. We, we, we want to stay and have some more. Can you have a key for us to come <laughs> back? Till next time. Thanks so, so much for watching. See hey you guys. guys, take care. From Scotland. From Scotland. <laughs> <laughs>